lot of people got something to say about the fact that I got six kids with six different men. So I'm just going to tell y'all why it is better to do it this way. If I had six kids with all the same dude, I get 34% of his income, which is only $680 a month. If I got six kids with six different dudes, I get 17% from each one of them, which is $340 a month from each one. $340 a month times six baby daddies is $2,040. So why don't you have six baby daddies? Biggest issue with these passport bros aren't that they're getting passports and going to find the love of their life. I think when it starts to be um, kind of weird is when you only date people outside your country, right? If uh, a passport bro were to say, oh yeah, I only date Asian women, right? That is that is a fetish. That's, that's not a passport bro, right? Passport bros are people who specifically go from country to country to country trying to find women exotic flavors uh, to, to dabble in, right? It really starts becoming weird when you go to third world countries or countries that are not as advanced as ours and um, start telling women that you're going to marry them so that you and a lot of these women are desperate, so they're, they're going to take you up on that offer, right? Uh, and in a way, it's kind of manipulative, right? They want someone who is going to be submissive to them. And what better way to find someone who's submissive to them uh, than to find a woman who is at your beck and call? Because, you know, the only reason she's in the United States is because of you. Sounds to me like a lot of control issue, right? Uh, and to be honest, ladies, these aren't t the type of men that we want anyway. These men want a woman that they can control and because they can't they can't find it here in America because uh, it's frowned upon to like own a human. Or they go to other places in the world where they can legally own a human. Very good at cook um, and cleaning. Also, I will serve you. Oh my God, get out of here, sis. With Bruh. Over here in the West, we don't play that, okay? We're strong, independent queens who don't need no man. What you talking about? Serving. I could offer my whole self. No, no secrets and all. Okay. Loyalty, faithfulness, okay. everything that could make him happy. You ever hear a Western woman talking about how she's going to make her man happy? No. You know what we hear from the West? What a man can do to make me happy. What a man can bring to the table for me. What I can benefit. How I could spend his money. This is why Western women is mad because look at her. She's pretty <laughs> and she's a housewife and she takes care of two kids. It's not our fault. They even say yeah. that we steal the man. No, you know, no, we don't steal your man. Do your yeah. man come in here? Low blows. <laughs> They're just clowning Western women right now. Basically, the passport bros are mad because a lot of the foreign women that they're trying to go and seduce and bring to America are basically using them for their money or basically see right through them. You know that nigga that you're thinking about? Does he have a wallet? No. And in that wallet, does he have money? No. Oh, okay. Have a good day. If he ain't paying all them bills, he can't say nothing, okay? Nothing, because he's just a roommate. So if you make 38000 you need to be handy. <laughs> You need to know how to light bulb and put a fan up and put on a light switch. If you make $38,000 a year, you better cut the grass, you better wash dishes, uh, cook food, uh, wash clothes, fold, I mean, everything. Um, I'm adding myself, so that's all I have for you. I, I don't bring anything to, I don't have anything to bring to a table. You just, you can't afford to date, don't date. I'm sorry if you got used and abused by some woman who just used you for a free meal. That really just comes with part of the dating territory. Like, I get it, you're jaded, but what does that have to do with me? Like, I'm sorry, you need to use better discretion. That has nothing to do with, like, women in general. Don't penalize the next chick just because you took the wrong chick out to eat. And you know what? If you're just like, hey, I don't want to be spending this much money on dates, that's fine. Take 
take a break from dating, re-up your money, go donate some plasma, do whatever you gotta do because I'm not about to go on some cheap date to like Applebee's or Fridays because you mad at the old chick who used you for a free meal. Use discernment. If you don't have it, pray for it. So what do you suggest the women in the West do if everyone's advice is for men in the West to look elsewhere for a wife? What happens to all the women in the West then? Well, that one study we referenced was said by 2030 or something, 50% of the women will be without a man. So that's, that's the direction we're heading because the men that are looking for those traditional values are starting to go overseas. And then two, the other half of the men are just checking out completely. They don't want to deal with women at all. So this is going to be a big issue that women are going to deal with in the future as their options dwindle. When you pay attention to the passport bros, like they're getting women from like the DR, Colombia, yes. uh, the Philippines, Thailand, mm -hmm. like oh. women can that can speak very little English, women that don't have and, education, and not, women that, that you missing, need them, you women that, that need women them. Women are raised to be wives. Mm -hmm. They learn everything in, in other from, communities, from yeah. birth, from That's their father, from their mother, how to be a wife and how to support your men. Women that need them. It's not even women Every that need them. It's women that treat them with respect. So we don't. Y'all know y'all don't. Stop. <laughs> no, like, stop yourself. Yeah, no, yeah, that's don't. not true. <laughs> support bros, like they're getting women from like the DR, Colombia. Yes. Wait, 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 wait. Excuse me? I'm educated? Girl, have you been to the Philippines? Filipinos are very smart. And a lot of Filipinos are nurses, teachers, doctors, lawyers. And you're calling us uneducated? Do some research, girl. Okay? Yeah. Let me get this straight. You have been telling men for years that you don't want them, you don't need them, they don't meet your standards, that they don't treat you right. You can pay for your own hair, you can pay for your own nails, you can afford your own home, you can afford your own car. Men are good for nothing. You're strong. You're independent. Then you get mad when these men go to another country to actually find a woman that has the qualities that they are looking for in a wife. Make it make sense. I also want to talk about why this mindset that so many Western women have is actually extremely problematic. Because not only are you putting down the men who are going overseas with pure intentions, you're also putting down the woman from these other countries solely off of the fact that they were not brought up in a Western culture. Because you're calling them uneducated, you're calling them poor, you're calling them weak, you're calling them vulnerable. You're creating a superiority complex where you are at the top and women from all these other countries are at the bottom. Now let me tell you something. If you were really superior, the men would not be leaving and you would not be single. Sensational. Guys, let's get our past pros, bro. They don't appreciate us here. It's an opportunity for them to go in search of spouses who they feel are going to be more subservient to them and do what they want, basically some sort of indentured servitude. It's easier for these men to go overseas, get one of these um, victims. A lot of these passport bros are exploiting a power imbalance economically. Y'all are taking advantage of these women. If you feel that you need to go to Antarctica to marry a polar bear, but they're still doing the, oh, we're just going to leave and go to another country and find women, or you're going to die alone. Good luck dying alone with your cats. Get a polar bear. Yeah, it is much easier for these passport bros to go to other countries and exploit younger, more impressionable, less educated or uneducated um, girls living in poverty. You know why? Because we don't care. Look, we don't care. For all we do not care. And guys are going across the country to find a Filipina slaves. Girl! What did I do today? You cooked dinner. You went to the grocery stores before and got all the groceries to cook dinner. And you cleaned up the room, whole room, and put all my clothes away without me asking for it. And do I feel like I'm a slave? No. Because, what did you do today? What did I do? I bought Starbucks. I took it out of the trash when I saw you struggling with it. You were going to try to take it out yourself. And, um, well, I got your nails done the other day. 
So it's not a game of who does more for who. It's about thinking what the other person needs and doing it without them having to ask for it. And even if I do just the little things for him, he's always so surprised and appreciative. Which makes me wonder what's going on over there in America. And mind you, we're not taking them away from you. They're coming to find us. The only reason an Asian woman would marry you is because of the prospect of a better life. You go find a wife in the Philippines or Thailand or wherever these places are that are overseas. They're just happy to be rescued from their poverty-stricken life of no opportunity. You may or may not be able to speak English properly. And, and if you want to call us uneducated and poor, that we will get any opportunity we can get just so we can get out of poverty. Men are supposed to be providers, so they are going to provide for their future partners and family. The bottom line is, we have what they are looking for. I don't understand where is the rage from these women coming from. Why are they even surprised their men living when they are the one who is causing it? I can cook, I can clean. Uh oh! Yeah, see, this is why I came to Thailand to find a traditional woman. Uh oh! See, in the United States, oh, women don't cook and clean. Oh! All they do is complain. And we don't got time for that. That's why I got my passport and I've left. Look at this beautiful couple right here. You understand me? Look at that smile. But guys, let's be honest. A young brother like this in the States, you could tell he's exceptionally forward regarding his intentions of wanting love and wanting a family. In the States, a man of his personality, characteristics, and traits will be labeled as a lame, would be labeled as corny, as reasons to disqualify him. But instead of dealing with the bullshit, my young brother went abroad and found himself so for nice little tenderoni abroad. Most American chicks are toast, most Canadian chicks are toast, and the same is applied in Australia, New Zealand, and Western Europe. I lived in Philadelphia, Las Vegas, Miami, San Diego, Los Angeles, and San Francisco. In Canada, Medellin and Bogota, Puerto Rico for about a year. I lived in China, London, and Lisbon, Portugal, and Kiev, Ukraine, Bucharest, Romania. Those are kind of the main places where I set up a base and got to take in the culture. Here's what's been fun with the Western cultures. The girls are very entitled, they're stuck up, overweight, less educated in general compared to their Eastern they're less sweet, they're less feminine, they're less elegant, they are more slutty, more disrespectful. Versus what I found in Eastern European cultures, the women are very feminine, they're very elegant, they're sweet, they're very fit, they're more respectful, they're more genuine, they're more educated, they're more cultured, they're less sexually experienced, okay, because they're not pouring out all over the place. They're more family oriented and usually have better morals in general. For me personally, I am just over the Western chicks. The girl goes off on I, I Western think women. That we've just got a, a very, very selfish culture of women. And to any women out there that say I have internalized misogyny or anything like that, that would require that I have a problem with women worldwide. I do not have a problem with women worldwide. I have a problem with Western women. And if you think that I'm just like making this up out of nowhere, reflect on the fact that there are Western men that are flying out east to find wives. Are Eastern men coming out west to find wives? No. Where in the world are men flying out in droves to marry American women? Nobody wants us. Why? We're big. We're selfish. We don't want to hear anything. You can't tell me to eat less. You can't tell me to change my life. You can't tell me it's not about me. I think so many men are traveling overseas to find wives in other countries. If men husbands? are traveling overseas to, to countries that have less money and less education, it's because they want a woman who is dependent on them for their livelihood. And I don't think that that is a good thing. A lot of the men I know that go overseas to find wives are not great dudes. Can you be more specific? Yeah, they're pervy. When a man wants to find a woman with traditional values in another country, he's now not a good man and he's a pervert. And then you wonder why they're leaving. Women. <laughs> <laughs> One significant aspect of the shift in relationship dynamics is the changing role of women in society. Over the past few decades, there has been a remarkable increase in women's participation in higher education and the workforce. As a result, women have gained greater economic independence and have more opportunities to pursue their own aspirations and goals outside of traditional domestic roles. This empowerment of women has led to a re-evaluation of priorities in romantic relationships. Many women now seek partners who can complement their independence rather than fulfill traditional provider roles.
And that concludes today's discussion on MegTow Voice. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay updated on future videos. Share your thoughts in the comments below, and I'll see you all in the next video.